So to construct a head, everybody, you have to, you know, you have to understand how to construct a head and uh, using the knowledge. So the best thing for you to do is to be able to put the head into a box. So the first thing you want to do is to be able to create a cube of any shape, uh, any size, you know, something like, like the one that I just did right there. So it's a cube and we're going to put the head into the into the cube. So we're going to put the head in this box right here. OK, so to begin, you're going to first lay in an arc right there for the forehead and just go with the basic shape first. You know, that's where the ears would be and you're going to lay in the chin. And so now you can see clearly that it's inside a box and this will give you a very good feeling about how you can understand curvature surface area and how things you know protrude forward and then recede back planes and you know you're using these guidelines you see how i'm using the guidelines for the eyes a straight middle line a simple line for the nose uh, another simple upper lip and the lower lip you know uh, map them out first the best way when you're constructing it, you know And so because you have this box around the head It'll give you a good feeling about how you can how things are protruding forward and receding backward So then the next thing is to like make sure that you do, you you follow those guidelines and you lay out your your basic head you know this would be the under drawing over which you can create a character out of this and i'm going to show you right now how to do that and once again you have to keep in mind all those planes you know the area between the eyes just the circle for the nose the areas the 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 planes where i drew the lines uh by the eyebrows you know right in the middle between the eye and the ear these are all planes. You see where I'm drawing these lines right there. These are the planes that you're going to put shadows in to create the effect of like a sculptural effect, three dimensional. So we're going to pop out of the two dimensions and move into the three dimensions, you know. So once you have this basic thing, the next step is for you to erase all of this, uh, all of those guidelines. And it's going to just simply reveal to you the actual uh, drawing of the head, you know. And it's more kind of realistic because you, it's more in perspective. And the next thing is very easy for you to then now begin to add and bring character to the to the head. Here I'm making it look like a a, a, a punk kid or whatever, you know. So I just randomly chose to give him this particular hairstyle and have an earring and a little teenage kid, you know. So that's uh, how we arrived at this, guys. Once again, put the head into a box, understand the planes, understand the curvature, and to understand all this and see now all those planes have become the shadows. It becomes very easy for you now to really do this when you do it this way. So do it by creating a box around the uh, uh, head, you know, or create a box and then put the head into the box and try to understand how the planes and the surface, the curvature, how all this works, okay? And... Uh, so here we have the head now and it's a little bit and it's a character that it's a character design really so here i'm making a character you can create anything you want uh, so there's your character that i'm double upping from basic and you see how i arrived at this from drawing those middle lines and those straight lines using a ruler and marking and mapping out everything and you know and you can imagine this if you put them back into a box you see, like just like I'm doing right here, that would be exactly what I'm talking about. Like to imagine him being in a box, and 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 when you do that, make sure you have those lines in the back as well, so it's like a see-through box, and he's inside the box. This is going to give you a very good way to double up your drawings, guys. 
So make sure you practice by drawing heads into a box. And you know, you can, you can, the, the likeness is up to you. And also the, the way that, so for example, you can create another box like that. And if you want the head in another direction, it's still going to be inside the box. S this time the head is uh, looking the other way. But you see how I'm able to like use the same technique, you know, those guidelines and then using and imagining the head inside of a box, just like that, inside a cube. This will really, really help you understand and make your drawings come alive. And, uh, and it becomes very easy after you learn how to practice. And also check out the cognitive drawings that I put in there. That's going to really help you to see how you could do this easily. All right. So once again, and if you want to do another box like this and tilt the box, you can also tilt the whole box and put the figure, uh, the head inside the box. Inside the so the box doesn't have to be facing you.